Previously, I already posted one YouTube video on the topic Eight Possible Causes of GERD. And I talked there about drinking water. But I received so many emails and there is so many misunderstandings about the topic. So I decided to expand on that. So why cannot you drink water or any fluid with your meal? Okay, I will show you why. It's Human Physiology 101. So I decided to show you this is the plastic bag will act as a stomach. Here is the stomach right here in the middle. This one is low esophageal sphincter on the top that uh, between that it is between uh, esophagus and the stomach. Here on the, on the bottom we have a pillarus between stomach and small intestine. Stomach will start to produce hydrochloric acid as soon as food will arrive and will produce it until pH in the stomach of two is rich. Both valves during that time will remain tight, closed to make sure that food does not go up and does not go down. However, physiologically, both valves cannot stay closed all the time. They will relax after about one hour, 30 minutes, no matter what. So, let's look what will happen when the food arrives. Okay, here is some food. Let's put it right here into your stomach. Here is your hydrochloric acid. This actually is a tea. The concentrated black tea will represent high concentration of hydrochloric acid to help you to digest food. It will break down the protein into individual amino acids. When the amino acids get released, also calcium, magnesium, vitamin B12 get available for further absorption down in the small intestine. Also, hydrochloric acid has other purpose. It's antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal. So, here is your food arrived into the stomach and both valves are closed and the food started to be digested. Okay? Clear? Now, look what will happen. Look at the concentration of hydrochloric acid in the stomach when you decide to drink a glass of water. Let me show you. You diluted that. So, look at the concentration. It's not there. Well, physiologically, remember, I said that these two valves will remain closed, but they will get tied after about one hour, 30 minutes. So, what will happen when low esophageal sphincter will become tied? Look at that. So, you decided, so you're, you're chewing the food and it's getting broken there. And just a little bit, it get relaxed. And here is your food. And hydrochloric acid will go right through that valve into esophagus. The clinical presentation is GERD or acid reflex. So, you cannot drink any liquids. Okay, you can have a little bit, one or two ounce of water to help you to swallow. In some cultures, people will drink wine and beer a little bit to aid the digestion. In many cultures, people will have hot and sour soup, sour. That's what will increase production of hydrochloric acid to make sure that the protein is broken, calcium, magnesium, B12 is available for digestion and absorption further down the road. You can have your fluids such as water, tea, 40 minutes before the meal. 40 minutes after the meal. If you will drink before or during the meal, you will have acid reflex. Also, there is more consequences of drinking water with your meal. Bacteria, viruses, fungus are not killed. As a result, all of this bacteria that you swallowed accidentally with your food will go into your small intestine and will create dysbiosis. More problem down the road. So, is it clear? Don't drink anything more than one or two ounces with your meal. And stay healthy, guys. See you again. Post the comments right there below. Ask me serious questions. 
and I will definitely answer them. Stay healthy with Dr. Veronica. Bye.